projectile motion projectile motion is a motion object in two dimension so where we can determine the maximum height or range which is in x and y axis accordingly as you can see the motion of the object is not on x is not on y so what can we do we can resolve the initial velocity to x axis and to y axis so x axis after resolve we get cos theta if you can determine the value just write down straight away and ui is u sin theta the same goes to the y axis so from here we can resolve according to x and y axis so what we want to calculate let's say we want to calculate maximum height so for sure maximum height is on y axis so from the concept at maximum height only vy equal to zero so if we choose to use this equation v square equal to u square plus 2 as at maximum height so everything is on y axis so ui is u sin theta so 0 u sin theta minus 2 g sy so sy equal to sin theta over 2 g it's easier if you substitute the value over here let's say 30 meter per second then your equation will become more simple Okay, now to determine the time taken to reach maximum height. Okay, from the concept, one more time, at maximum height, Vy equal to zero. So, we have this equation, very general. Everything is on y axis. So, Vy equal to zero. Uy is u sine theta. So, we get the equation T equal to U sine theta over G. Okay, how about time taken or you can say flight time for the whole journey. So, we assume going up and going down without air resistance. So, T equal to 2T. So, equal to 2 u sin theta over g this is everything on x axis sorry y axis for x axis we can determine the range or horizontal displacement s equal to ut plus half a t square so everything on x axis no acceleration so ux is u cos theta this equation if you we use this equation if t is given if we don't know the t we use t from here. so s equal to u cos theta to u sin theta over g simplify the equation u square over g 2 sin theta cos theta this one equal to sin 2 theta from tri trigonometry identity so you have sx equal to u sin 2 theta over g to get maximum range theta must be 45 degrees so sin 90 equal to 1 so maximum range is u square over g ok how about the velocity velocity at any point is from x and y so this is the v so v equal to vx square plus vy square square root vx is from ux plus at vy from ui minus gt again ux and ui is from sin theta and cos theta from the earlier part 
then determine the angle.